moving crafts can help to tell the story and to really give the kids a visual of maybe what had happened. In this particular one, this is the story of the unending flour and oil. And as you can see, by rolling this around, the flour and the oil just keep pouring and pouring. So to make something like this, you could also use this um, craft for the water turning into wine where you could have blue and purple water um, and wine and make it so that it turned to water and then to wine. But to start with it, you need to have your backing. So I made a circle with the flour and then a smaller circle with the oil. And these are going to get glued together so that their middles match up. And this is something that the children would do, but you're going to need one in order to make your jars that go on top of it. So we're going to match it up in the middle. Now we need to determine where to draw the jars and where to have the openings so that one shows the oil and one shows the flour. So I'm going to take a transparency and I'm going to lay it over my flour and oil. And then with a Sharpie, I will draw my jars. And this jar I'm going to make go over here. And then you can add all the detail to it. I have one here that's already drawn. And that fits right on top. Now you need to determine where the cutouts are going to be so that the oil and the flour will show. So on this particular one, I want the oil to be showing through it. So I'm going to center it on my page. And put a piece of white paper back here so you can see better. And then take and draw where I want it to be cut out. And you can see here that this area will then show the oil. And then here, I'll cut out this area here, and that will show the flower. So once that's finished, you'll copy it onto a piece of paper, have the children color it. Uh, for the younger children, you'll want to cut out those sections first. You can add your scripture to it. Take your backing, and if you use a big um, tack or thumbtack or something that's pointed, it will help you to make the hole through very easily. And you might want to do this for the younger ones so that they don't poke themselves. Again, it just goes right through. So then you have your two holes that you'll line up and using a brad that will open in the back and that will help it to turn. Put it through the top and put it through your backing here. Open up the back and then you have your craft that will turn and turn and they can just keep turning it and there's no end to the flour and oil that came forth.